Hi YouTubers, today I'd like to discuss how I discharge my LiPo batteries. You should always, always discharge your batteries to 3.8, 3.7 or 3.8 volts per cell if you're going to store it um, for more than a, a couple days. Uh, for me, after every flight that I don't use, I always discharge it unless I'm going to go back out the same day or perhaps the next day. First way to do it is by using the storage feature on your uh, charger. For he here, I'm using the Eternity AccuCell 6, and I'm putting it in storage mode, and it discharges from there. And when it hits that magic number, then it stops char it stops this charging. But as you can see, you you can only discharge at 0.5 amps, and after just a little bit the charger gets very very hot so I've come up with another method to discharge and here it is it's just a battery hooked up to a 12 volt light bulb and I put a watt meter on that that's roughly about one amp that it's taking uh, discharging from the battery the problem with this method is that there's no way uh, to stop the discharge if you go below three point 7 to 3.8 volts per cell. So I kind of looked around the net and I found this little handy dandy little tool which you can, according to this tool, you can set it to whatever voltage you want uh, from range of um, 2.7 to 3.8. So I'll set it to 3.8 and let it go. This little tool connects to your balance port and And like if it's just gone off there, I set it so that when any of those cells hit 3.8 or lower, it goes off. So that if I'm charging it, if I'm discharging it, and it's sitting on the desk somewhere, it'll go off and then I'll go ahead and unplug my battery. No damage done. Um, I've done in the past without this little tool where it's completely drained my battery and I've forgotten about it. So very cool little tool. Very cool little way to discharge your batteries. Alright, bye now. Thanks for watching.